presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So That's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. June 22nd. Pretty wild, man. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 100, NASDAQ up 93, S&P's up 23, gold contract down $2.90, trading at 1780 an ounce. You got silver down 14 cents, $25.89 an ounce, light sweet crude. Down 60 cents, $73.06 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up four ticks, trading 132.11. 30-year bond up one at 159.31 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 239 ticks, trading 91.660. The euro is at 119. The yen is at 110.61. And the British pound is at 119 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's bring up the futures first. The bottom line, folks, is market wants higher price. Okay, so we bring up the futures first. Let, let's see what we have here. So you're up 25 bucks. S&P futures are clawing their way, way higher. The last high that was established out here is at 42.58. We're at 42.38. If we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see, you're heading up to the highs also inside the SPY. Right now, the SPY is up a couple bucks. Where are you? There we go. Right there. Uh, why isn't that doing it? SPY. There we go. Okay. So, SPY right now is trading. Give me one second. Why is this slowing down on me? Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, man, what a trip. Okay. Sorry about this, folks. Okay, so who knows what's going on with the Internet, but it doesn't matter because I know it's high by hard anyway. Okay, so what we have out here is this. You have the SPY heading for ties. The NDX 100, folks, as well as the NASDAQ composite, they're both in ABC structures on the way up. You know, what we had here is that uh, Friday, no doubt you pulled back. You had a little juice on the way back, but guess what? Wasn't enough juice to destroy the market. Uh, you have the Qs or an ABC structure up with a price projection of 353.69. The NDX 100, the Q, that's the NDX 100, the three Qs. The composite is an ABC structure up to 14,530. So we're talking some uh, real bread here. And what you, what you do have happening is that what we have had happen here is that you have the markets pull the NASDAQ 100 as well as the composite. They're pulling away from their highs. So this leg has started. My take is that as the leg starts, what you're going to get here is that you're going to get the, there she is, you're going to get the, they're just going to drag the NDX 100 higher. So we take a look at the SPY. You're going to see the SPY is up $2.70 right now. Last high out here was 425.26. I expect you're going to go after it, and you're going to probably take it out. Well, the 
The cues, the cues are on their way, man. The cues are on their way. The cues, they're they're pulling away from the the top of the high. The the highs is pulling away. It's away. It's away from it by five points right now. Right now you're at three forty seven forty nine. Three fifty three is the number. That's another six points up. That's going to be that's going to establish a whole nother leg inside the marketplace. Now let's go over to the gold contract and take a look at gold. They smoked gold last week. Figures they smoke gold too, folks. Because why? Because it's my thousandth anniversary. <laughs> so I've done one thousand gold reports, folks, as of this Monday. Pretty wild, man. Gotta love it. Um, needless to say, <laughs> when they were smoking it last week, it, it totally figured because guess what? Uh, the gold market is a different animal. There's no two ways about it. They bring gold down, they bring it down hard and fast. That being said, guess what, man? It didn't break a swing point. The swing point is 1756.80, and we got the 1761.20. When you come down hard and fast like that, they blow everyone out of the water, meaning that the amount and the speed that we came down, bottom line, it's cleaned out down at the bottom. We'll see how this shakes out now. What we do have going for us now is that you get the U.S. dollar going for you. What we did with the U.S. dollar, the U.S. dollar did a 0.618 retracement. Now, a 0.618 retracement, folks, is a very strong retracement. And what it means is that the next time down, you do normally do not break out the low. So the low that we're talking about is the 89.535. Most of, you know, when you do a 0.618 retracement, that's how that works. You can come down, you can build some more calls, and then you can go after it. But I, I don't expect that we're going to see that uh, broken out. Inside of the NDX 100 today, putting juice in it, you got Splunk is up 10%. You got Peloton up 7.4. Moderna is up 5.7. And uh, OKTA is up uh, 3%. Uh, Biogen is uh, down 1.8. Pendor Duo is off 1.7. Uh, if you actually do go over to uh, Asia last night, uh, China, China was up 3.5%. Uh, Big numbers. Uh, as the, today, that's right. Hi, Jeff. How you doing, brother? Um, 3D Systems. 3D Systems up $8.5 out here today. What that's all about is that the, all the 3D, 3D companies uh, evidently are going to start uh, making... Uh, Breast argument uh, reconstruction, and so that's what that's what uh, put a bid underneath these today. You got, uh, uh, yeah, they're all they're all up. You got uh, Stratus up, 3D's up. You, you got you got this is there's, there's a good jump there. There's no there's no two ways about it. That's a consolidation. That's an ABC structure up. Your B point on this is 33. Your A, well, it's a good one, man. 17. So we got 18. Well, that's a 15. Oh, that's a big one, man. 26, 36, 41. Oh, well, yeah, 37 and 41 is the number. 37 and 41 is the number. So it is a big number. Now, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, we're having a little celebration. We're having a celebration for the 1,000th gold report. And what it is is this, is that we have a Target All sale going. Uh, bottom line is that with the Target All sale, you can get a bonus up to 40%. Uh, the gold report's going up after July 4th. You can lock in this rate forever at $97 a month. And check out the Tiger Dollar Sale, because the bottom line is that it's going to be going on for the next two weeks. You can buy 500, you get 600, you can buy 1,000, you get 1,300, you can buy 1,500, you get 2,100. Come right back, folks. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 121. Nasdaq is up 112. S&Ps are up 26. And to go over the special that we're having right now, folks, so we have the Tiger dollar sale going. Uh, the gold report will stay at $97 until July 4th. So if you'd like to get the gold report, you want to lock in $97, great way to do it. That's celebrating a 1,000th gold report, uh, 20 years, 19.7 years to be exact, which is pretty wild. Um, it's crazy, actually. Uh, anyway, the Tiger Dollar Sale, folks, is a nice way uh, to basically put some extra uh, credits inside of your pocket. The way the Tiger Dollar Sale works is that you can buy $500 worth of Tiger Dollars, you get $600 which is a 20% bonus. You can buy 1,000, which gets you 1,300, which is a 30% bonus, or you can buy 15, which you get 2,100, which is a 40% bonus, and that's the top. That's gonna be good from now until July 4th. Now, let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, has a great show, also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right there. You can hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or a year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is I just had tennis canceled. It was beautiful for quite a few days, and uh, an hour before I'm supposed to play outdoors, it rained. It you rained know, on you. Say. Man, oh, man. Well, you better tell the rain gods they better go away and come back some uh, other day, man. <laughs> I don't know how they didn't get the message. <laughs> totally, totally. Well, it's certainly not raining on the market. <laughs> no. So this is really interesting because for... For for quite a few months, I've been talking about this rolling upside correction. Really, it's a a form of digestion after each sector had, had done really well. We often see how the sector takes a breather, and it's, and the bull market remains in place as long as there's another sector to take its place. And yeah. that's kind of what we've seen since the summer of 2010 I, I don't know if you remember that's when i we had gone long march the 6th uh, with the diamonds of uh, 2009 that was friday on the monday the s p made its low we held those diamonds for about 18 months or so so uh, one of the things i always look for is as 
what happens when one comes off a serious low, not one, when the market comes off a serious low, very often there's this kind of H pattern with a retest and how the retest works is very important. But if you remember that, we did not get a retest. We just kept going. And what I had said was in the summer of two, 2010 that I had noticed through the summer that there was this rolling correction and that the market never pulled back because as sectors that had done well pulled back, Others just took the, it's like fund managers were just looking for laggards and they kept buying the laggards. Um, and that, that's really, and we've seen that kind of rotation, even with our 39% decline that we saw a last March, going to the March low of last year, we still saw some of that. So what I'm, I'm looking at here is if I can show you the Dow, which we, we're actually still long from the low of this of March of this past year, uh, starting off with options, then we went to the very next week. Uh, first of the first week of April of 2020, went to the diamonds, and we still got those diamonds. We've taken a little bit off, still kept core position. So this is very interesting. Look, the Dow, the high was 35,091, and interestingly is that the futures made an exact 35,000 um, high. I mean, those round numbers are amazing. We saw that with uh, Amazon. We've seen that with a lot of stocks that have made round number highs. Anyway, what we're looking at here is the low that was made at 33,271 uh, three days ago, we've seen today was really important to get this follow through. If we kind of stalled here, I'd say, gee, that you've got to be careful. But a follow through in the Dow, the Dow is up 135, that's 0.4%. But look at this, the S&P actually followed through even stronger. It's up 0.65%. It's up 27 and 4252. So what I was saying about this rotation, you saw the Dow, how deep that correction was. Look, you've got the S&P within an eye blink of the 4257.60 uh, high of last week. You've got the QQQ, as you mentioned, the QQQ is the NDX 100 trading vehicle. As we speak, it's at an all-time high in the daily chart. Of course, that means weekly and monthly chart as well. And the IWM in in terms of this rotation, there's a chap wave pattern called the, the this is a declining cone formation and the resistance is at the resistance. The all time high was uh, 235. Let me just double check. 234.53 back in March of 2015. It's gone sideways ever since. It's still acting pretty well, but it's gone sideways. And you can see so we've got the, the Dow uh, lagging, the, SM, the IWM lagging. The S&P fractions within fractions of an all-time high and the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle at all-time highs. So I think that that's just telling us that fund managers are still buying. And actually, I showed this chart. Maybe I'll do this now because it is so interesting. I'll do it here because I just saw it a little while back. So let me show you this chart. I'll make this nice and big. This has got a black background. This line that you see right here, oops, here it comes there. This green line. Okay. That is the, this is when the nine period exponential moving averages, average crosses over the 14 period moving average. It's green when it crosses positive, it goes pink when it goes negative. So here's the down, it just went negative. Look at the um, S&P. It looked as if it was going to pull back sharply from early yesterday morning. Then, of course, we broke out. But look, this is green. The QQQ. By, green. by the time you're off the air, the S&P is going to go up another 10 points, man. <laughs> isn't that? I, you know, but isn't that fascinating? I don't know what Powell said, but I don't think. I mean, I think the market is almost in, in its own trajectory right now. And that when we're looking at, let me just, oh, I changed that. I should go back. Yeah, so let me show you this, which is also, I think, very interesting. When, you, If I can just move a little slow today. Okay, so in, within the context of the market, so we have, uh, we have a couple of stocks that are doing really well right now. We just bought one today that I've been looking at for not years, but decades. And we finally got in this morning because it pulled back just enough that I could say, I like it very much. Let's go into it. And it's, it's a... High price. High price doesn't mean to say it's uh, an expensive stock because those are two different things. The price is the price and the P.E. ratio is the P.E. ratio. This, I think, is a really good company. So we got in this morning and uh, it's trading up uh, very about seven or eight points. I like that. So this is a very select time, I think, if you're in the right sector, you have no idea what people are talking about when they're saying, oh, this market's going to go down really sharply. 
and if you're you know if you're in the right sector you just have to keep following so we, we've got uh, 17 positions one is a little insurance we took on the short side i might just get out of that because i i think that's going to be wrong so i don't want to mess around we did it yesterday i want to get out of it um and mostly we're in long positions and i i kind of like the mix the only thing i am a little concerned about is that and this is your expertise and i have to congratulate you a thousand editions of your gold report fabulous thanks and basil got, appreciate it made a lot of money for people so i'm just watching gold and the gdx it's kind of holding at support here it needs to go a little higher but i think that dollar has a little more to go to the upside so we're going to be watching this closely Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into newsletters. You see the opening call. You just press that subscribe button. Bowser, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors Tom O'Brien has just published his 1,000th gold report. It's amazing to think that Tom has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 20 years. To celebrate the 1,000th issue of Tom O'Brien's gold report, we've just launched a Tiger Dollar sale, which runs for two weeks only through July 4th weekend. We've doubled all the Tiger Dollar bonuses, where you can now get up to a 40% bonus on your purchase. But that's not all. Inflation is here, and the price of the gold report is going up after July 4th. Right now, you can lock in the Gold Report at the current pricing of $97 a month for as long as you remain a subscriber. This deal won't come around again. Get your Tiger Dollars today and apply them to the Gold Report before the price goes up on July 5th. Tiger Dollars never expire and are good for any TFNN newsletter or service as a great way to add savings. Head on over to the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and help us celebrate Tom O'Brien's 1000th Gold Report. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 156, Nasdaq's up 124, S&Ps are up 30. And the S&Ps, folks, if you are trading intraday, just uh, got another ABC structure up. Uh, just blew away the B point intraday. Has the volume behind the move? Uh, 4251 is the number. You're at 4244 right now. You, you could check out this little B point intraday and uh, higher prices, baby. And I expect you're going to see the 51 coming into the close. We get 30 minutes. That's going to be six points is nothing. Let's go to our man, Alan Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? Uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's, I'm doing great. Uh, 
I remember one thing you told me over this. I can't believe it's been 20 years. I remember when your first gold report came out and gold was like two, $250 an ounce. Yeah. Remember those days? 252 In fact, you know, I just came back from Homer's house. We were, up the, we were up the Springs for the weekend. It was awesome. It was insane. Oh, it's, it's beautiful yeah, up it here. Is. I mean, I, I just love it, what it has. I remember one thing over the 20 years that you taught me, and uh, you said, look at things that you buy in that. And uh, remember, I, I got into like seven. I did business with seven. I haven't made money there. I made, I was dealing with lumber liquidators because my brother-in-law in there, I made money there. And then remember Blue Buffalo, I got, I was using that food. And uh, I got into there and Procter Gamble. I knew I made like uh, $10 a share on that. And I just found a new one. And I know you probably do this, too. And you probably bought some of these. And it's uh, Generac. Okay, so that's... Uh, G-N-R-C. Let's take a I look at it. it you got Genrac Holdings. The lows are $111. The highs three ninety nine, And I do buy a lot of them. I put these in. <laughs> so I know this product really well. So Well, I, I know somebody around the block from me in that... And the, the companies put it, and they got four to six months book uh, that they're booked up that they, they got all their jobs. So uh, I, I just wanted to let the uh, people know that, too, with this company. So do you own this right now? I'm looking at getting it. It's probably mm -hmm. too far uh, off its uh Yeah, uh, I'd, be real, I'd be really careful. In. So So let me... So, folks, no matter where you are in the country, this is kind of intriguing. And, and uh, what you're hearing now, what you're going to hear some is factually, not, not looking at a chart. So the way this works, right? So picture this. Genrax, folks, okay, I put in these 24,000 watt with a, with a handler, with an automatic switch, okay? The bottom line is that when you go out, and even if you go up with Genrax, they're going to end up quoting you like some outrageous amount, like 28, 30,000 bucks. The bottom line is that, you know, I put these in for 16 grand on my new houses, okay? And, you know, they get, first off, they get way too much money between the electric and the gas to put them in. Um, you know, I wouldn't be buying this up here. That's the bottom line, man. <laughs> um, well, the chart, I understand it's high, but the chart, if you look at the chart, there hasn't been a pullback in a long time. No, I, listen, I, listen, I get it, Al. I mean, and, and listen, man, you're coming into hurricane season, so it'll probably go higher. I, I'm just saying that when you get a $300 uh, stock, the, the bottom line is that, um, you know, you took out a high. Um, the volume wasn't bad, but it was still less. That's telling me that you can still get back to 360 again. So, you know. Well, I, I understand. I just... I just saw this, just like some of the other ones in Blue Buffalo and oh, things yeah, listen, like man, that. I, I, I get it, you know. I, I, I get it. There's I no think I like four months of book. I buy, I buy them there. I buy the, uh, I buy them directly from Generac, and I get them put in by electrician. I'm, I'm about to price you are around between twelve and sixteen. So, and that's 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 yeah. in with the gas, gas and electric, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm using uh, propane. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, we do natural gas. Cool, man. It's a great product. There's okay. no doubt about that. What happens, folks, is when, when the switch is there, it's an automatic switch. If your electric, if anything goes down, it just goes on automatically. Cooking, brother. Have a great one, Al. Thank Have you. a safe one. Bye-bye. The uh, Microsoft folks, Microsoft has just joined the $2 trillion club. Uh, uh, pretty amazing, man. Uh, Apple's been up there for a while. I mean, we all remember... Uh, they they had just hit the one trillion dollar club, and uh, there it is. There's Microsoft at two trillion. Pretty amazing. Let's go to Gavin in Virginia. Hey, Gavin, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. Just seeing where the markets go and see where the price of gold will go. So, with the dollar um, being overprinted, and then um, the Russians pulling away from from the dollar, and then buy more gold so i just want to see where gold will go so you just want to look at the gold contract or is it a certain stock uh, there's a certain stock um and i plan on buying i talked to the ceo that um runs the company but he runs nevada king okay so and, runs, and what is the symbol he runs newfound gold court 
I'm sorry, can you tell me the symbol, please? Yeah, NFG. NFG? Oh, well, there is newfound gold, right? Okay. Newfound gold, yep. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You got the lows $1.24, the highs 1350 Okay, so this is this is an exploration stock that's trading that high, huh? Okay, the company focuses on acquisition and exploration. It's exploration. Um, they just found a recent gold deposit down in Canada. Um, and the person that runs the company told me is is that um, it's like big news and stuff. Yeah, I guess the the amazing part is very unusual when you have a, a company that doesn't take in any money and it's trading at thirteen eleven dollars. Yeah. Um, for new for newfound. Yeah. You know, I, I'd be careful here, man. <laughs> um, you know, it's a good-looking chart. Okay, so so this came this came off a low of three dollars and fifteen cents three months ago. You know, it looks like it's a consolidation. I mean, it looks like it wants to test nine forty. But I can tell you this: this is what is unusual. So so picture this. Okay, so it's an exploration stock. I I, I really got to. You'd have to do more work on it to find out how much cash they have on hand, because they don't. Mm -hmm. You don't see exploration stocks at eleven dollars and eighty-eight cents. But more than likely, it's exactly what you're saying, Gavin. Is that they have something that's a monster, evidently. Do you know what I mean? Because you know, yeah. there, there's something in there that the market is saying, "Hey, well, guess what? I have something that no one else has." So, what I would do, I would just get into their balance sheet and see how much cash they actually have. Because what ends up happening is that uh, it's awesome when they have a big find, okay? Then the bottom line is then they, then they get to bring it to market, okay? But as long as they have plenty of cash, then, you know, bottom line, it can be worth what, like what it's saying, 1188 You know, if, you, if you're looking to buy it, I'd be looking down at uh, the 988 area, the, the bottom of that consolidation, how it pulled back last week. That's what I'd be looking at. Okay. So wait for a pullback and then buy. Yeah. And okay. uh, p please find out how much cash they have. That's crucial. That is not a pump and dump. Okay. okay? Yeah. Perfect. Cooking, brother. All right. Thank you, thank you, Tom. Have a great one, Gavin. Have a safe one, man. Thank you. Dow, Dow Industrial's up uh, 122. NASDAQ is up 114. S&P's up 27. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at Harmony. Let's we'll take a look at some of the South Africans. So Harmony right now, uh, down 13 cents, trading at the 402. And this, you know, all the gold stocks get smoked. There's no doubt about that. The South Africans actually get smoked a lot more. Uh, then the rest of them, this would be a straight line move down since the 15th, uh, 19th of May. Uh, was 576, because down to 401. That being said, guess what? You're going right against the breakout area, and you uh, have a huge contraction of volume. So this is how you do want to get into equities. That's the bottom line. What's going to be intriguing here, you can see when we broke out uh, even last week. Let's see. So we came down 43 million. Yeah, he's still going up to 58, so it's not bad, man. Um, you know, looking to buy it, yeah, anywhere in here, you can could, you could take a bite on it. Uh, what is going to be intriguing here is this, is, is the aspect of where the dollar is going versus the rand, okay? So what ended up happening when the dollar went up dramatically, the rand went down dramatically. The rand went from a price point of 1341 uh, all the way up to uh, 1440. Now, that certainly didn't help any of the uh, South African equities either. If we go take a look at GFI, you're going to see they're all at the lower end of their consolidation, and they have not caught a bid yet. You know, they're, they're trying to reject lower price, but they haven't caught a bid. Uh, GFI hit, traded to 895. Right now, you're at 908. Um, Anglo Ashanti, uh, that's actually under its breakout area. Anglo Ashanti has to get a butt back above uh, 1950, uh, 1963. It rejected lower price at 1834 today, but bottom line it has to get back above that area to get back inside its higher range. You know, um, dollar wise, uh, bottom line is that I expect you're going to see this dollar pull back. And on the bigger picture, um, I don't see prices going down, folks. <laughs> um, I see the dollar. I can picture. I, I can here. Yeah, well, let's pull up the euro for a second. So I can definitely picture that. You know, the dollar is not going to just go a one-way run on the way down. The euro still wants higher price. The euro did a 0.618 retracement, as the dollar did. In this particular case, the euro did a 0.1618 on the way down. And that's saying that on the way back up, guess what? You wouldn't break the highs. Uh, that being said, what I suspect the marketplace is going to see in, in, a, in a heartbeat is that the marketplace is going to see that no matter what fiat currency is out there, prices are higher, and they're, as Powell would say, they're transitory, but let me tell you something. I've never seen transitory, well, I've never seen prices that actually have gone up and then go back down. <laughs> you know, yeah, two by fours, play, stuff like that, that's going to go up and down. There's no doubt about that. But I'm talking about in the aspect that whether it's buying a car, buying a house, buying appliances, buying the stuff that we buy, when it's all put together, the bottom line is that they, once you get to higher price, you might back off, have a few sales, but guess what? It doesn't come back. And the longer basis, that's what I think we're seeing inside the marketplace play out, meaning that there's no doubt we're at high prices, you're at large PEs, but guess what? We're at large PEs only if the dollar would be strong like bull. 
as the dollar gets weaker and other fiat currencies get weaker, what does that mean? Well, it means it's, it's a basis just to buy something, okay? So, going to be intriguing watching it. And the wild card, of course, are these rates. The, you know, yeah, you had Ray Dalio come out yesterday. And anyone with common sense, by the way, I mean, it, it is like Ray Dalio was out there yesterday. And he was saying, listen, I can't see how the Fed can taper without the market taking conniptions. He's absolutely right. I mean, it's a no-brainer, man. But the bottom line is that, you know, the market is going to take conniptions. And we'll see who the boss is, meaning Powell, the Fed, or the market. My take, the market's going to be the deal. So they're going to have to be like really small increments as they start pulling something away, you know, because the bottom line is that you, you pull away that punch bowl and you go south and you can go south so quick. And what has taken place this time for sure is that we have, a, we have an aspect that there's so many traders that have never even seen a pullback. Which is, which is just crazy. So we're going to get one. Hey, it's going to be out here at, at some point, folks. But the bottom line, it's not here yet. You know, that's, that's, that's how this seems to be shaken out. Some of the higher volume equities, and it's the NDX 100 that's running the, the show. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, we got plug power. That's up 10%. That's up $3.90. You got uh, 3D systems. That's up by $8. Big numbers there. Uh, Virgin Galactic is up 333 uh, Home Depot, when's Home Depot coming out with numbers? Let's see. So Home Depot, uh, it's not coming out to the 17th, but Home Depot, that is, is basically going topside once again. That only did that, did, let's see what kind of retracement Home Depot did. So Home Depot come off its highs. Yeah, it did almost 50% retracement of the last move. So bottom line is that this is going to try to get... Uh, Inside three hundred and sixteen dollars again. Right now you're at uh, three thirteen. So we'll see whether I can make it. Let me see. Is it Wayfair? I heard when I was listening to the TD Ameritrade show today. Five eight. Now they were they were talking about Home Depot. They were talking about Wayfair. Let me see what Wayfair is set up like right now. Yeah, it's not a bad setup. So Wayfair Wayfair has been going sideways for quite some time, man. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's quite some time. Holy cow. This has been going sideways for almost a year and a half. Yeah. So uh, Wayfair right now is trading 308.32. It has a high-volume spike at 369. So bottom line, game is 369. Uh, we go take a look at the, some of the fangs. The fangs aren't stopping, man. You know, Amazon wants its high. Google is at highs. Amazon's up 59 bucks right now. Amazon has a high volume high at that 35.54. We hit 35.23 today. That I suspect that's going to get up there. Now, if Amazon, oh, well, let's well, let's look at this. Oh, this is going to be so wild, man. Man, if this is ever an ABC up, so check this out, folks. If Amazon is an ABC up, it's going to be amazing, and and it's particularly because it has it has built enough cause. So building cause is going back and forth, driving everyone crazy. This has been building cause. Since uh, one July of last year, so if you, if it is an ABC structure up, I mean it's going to be a monster. I think it's 1900. Yeah, it's approximately 1900, which would get you 28, 38, 48, 4700. And if if it breaks topside with volume, this is about as clean as you can get. Meaning, I what happens is this: if you have my book, The Out of Time in a Trade. When you do a sideways move without a retracement, and that's what this really did for a year, that is the strongest ABC structure you can get on the way up or on the way down. So on the way down, if you've come down a leg, you're going sideways across the bottom, no juice, most of the volume is the bottom. When you break the bottom, problem. On an ABC up, bottom line, you're going sideways across it, you break the highs, and if you get volume on the break of the highs, you get action. And the last time that we're, the last two times that we're up here, what you have is that you have the day of uh, the week, rather, of April 30th, as well as last week. That is pushing the highs and pushing the highs with volume. That's saying your probability is that if you're going to break the highs. And if you break, if Amazon breaks the highs with volume, guess what? There's going to be another ABC structure inside the NDX 100. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, BD5, NASDAQ's up 109, S&P's up 23. And if you are an uh, S&P trader, folks, uh, something you want to keep your eye on uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, bottom line is if you can flatten it out tonight. Is that um, you know the S and P's right now? They just backed off that up being up thirty bucks. But guess what? They're still at ABC structure up intraday. Uh, I always like these when they play out like this because what ends up happening is that whether you trade the spies or the dime, uh, the, the Qs, uh, when you have something like this, is that you, you took out the B point. You did you did it at uh, three o'clock, three ten this afternoon, and as long as it doesn't get underneath that level, and underneath that level is uh, what. 32, uh, 4234. The bottom line is that that's still in play. And of course, what you want to be looking at is you want to be looking at the NDX 100 because that is the strongest one out there. We got to take a look at the small caps out here. Small caps going up to the highs again, uh, once again. And uh, bottom line, we'll see how they test these. Uh, we're at 227, 234 is game. And I do expect that's going to get tested. And then what we have here, calendar wise, folks. Calendar wise, you're coming into July 4th. So, bottom line, I expect you're going to see this ABC structure inside the NDX 100, as well as the composite that's going to finish up. You know, we'll see where this baby goes um, after the uh, July 4th holiday. But uh, right now, these, these, these markets want higher price, and I expect what you're going to see is that it, the NDX will drag that uh, SP into higher price. Uh, the dollar is going to be intriguing because. Uh, oh, oil. 
Oil, man, oil, 76 bucks is coming at us in oil. We're at 73 something right now. 73.95, what you're going to see out there, this pumps the market also. What you're going to see is that that 76 swing point is laying out there big time. And if, in fact, we blow away the 76, then you're going to be talking a whole different ball game, man. Um, but 76 is game right now. And what you do have at 76, you know, we should have some big flack at, at well, that's not that much flack. No, there's really not. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it, step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Kicks us off. Great show. Yeah, look at him, folks. Building wealth.